All right, today we're talking about the do's and don'ts on Facebook. So I'm gonna start with two things you do not wanna do on Facebook. We're gonna make this really short and quick. Number one, don't post negative shit about your affiliates and your vendors and the limo groups. Always be positive. If you need to call somebody out negatively, do it in a private fashion. I think that's just really common sense. I've seen a lot of negative posts about vendors uh, over the last couple of weeks. Number two, don't invest a tremendous amount of time into Facebook for your organic posts. You're not getting any reach. You're getting very limited, little to zero engagement because of the Facebook algorithm, which is called edge rank. So here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to spend any more than literally an hour to two hours on your, a week on your organic Facebook postings, one to two posts per day. That's it, max. Invest your time into channels that are really gonna benefit you. If you're on the retail side of the business, you should be learning Snapchat and Instagram. Uh, and I would invest more time into Instagram than I would on Facebook organically. If you're gonna run Facebook ads, you can actually run the same ad right into Instagram as well. And you know how much I believe in Facebook ads. And I don't just believe in it because I'm a believer, no pun intended, but because of the data that we're seeing from our customers that have gone through our course and what we do for our clients as well. Snapchat is gonna be huge for the retail side of the business. Look at how you can use filters and create your own custom filters to target weddings, bridal shows, corporate events, sporting events, you know, downtown areas. It's very cost efficient and the younger demographic of millennials and even high schoolers for proms, think about targeting a high school for two hours or one hour with a custom filter for your company when the high school gets out of school at 3.30 when you're trying to book proms. I'm in Nashville, so if I wanted to target golfers, I'm at a golf course today. I could have a Snapchat filter targeting golfers that are just here because it's all geographic, right? I could just target this practice area for $8 an hour on Snapchat. So the don'ts, don't post negative shit into you know, private groups and bash your competitors or your partners or your vendors. Number two, don't invest a tremendous amount of time into Facebook organically. Do target the channels of where your customers are that you want to acquire. So if you're on the corporate side of the business, the number one channel that you want to be living in is going to be LinkedIn. And that's not necessarily just posting to your LinkedIn feed, that's leveraging your groups and also using it for data mining, which we talked about in the previous episode, number 27. So choose the right channels, invest the right time into the right channels that is not organically on Facebook. Retail, I'd be focusing on Snapchat and Instagram and on the corporate side, putting all your efforts into LinkedIn. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the Ask Limo You Show.